All right, good morning, everybody. It's Tim and B Girl. This is my oldest, Brylin. Um, haven't done a video in a while. I, for some reason, just always forget and not very good at videoing by myself. But got Brylin with me here today, so hopefully we'll be able to get some good video. Um, we've got a small chicken bird or chicken job to do. Uh, we got 24, right? Yeah, 24 yeah. Um, corners cross to do. Um, so come along and hopefully we'll get some good video and be able to do something nice for you. Come on. All right, so as it normally goes, we forgot to do video, um, but we've got all the chickens caught. So they're here in our crates. And now we're gonna get to killing them, um, scalding them, plucking them, getting them in the ice bath and cooling them down and start processing them. So hopefully we'll remember to take some video. All right, so we've got the first round of chickens. Um, they're bleeding out. They've all, except for the last one that I've done is expired. Uh, not gonna show you that part because I know it can get rough on some people. Um, but if you don't like to see blood or uh, death then you might want to skip this next few seconds of the video um, but i'll turn it around and show you our so what i've got is um eight kill cones and i actually took two bicycle tires or wheels a large one and a small one and it keeps the angle pretty good and to a catch bin down there that catches a lot of the blood not all of it um, but it does catch a lot so now we will start plucking and getting them chilled off all right so we've got the scald water at about 140 um, I know a lot of people go off of time I go off of feel as soon as the feathers start coming out easy uh, I pull them out. You don't want them to stay in too long. So, another good thing to do is to work the birds around like this. Make sure that water gets into the feathers and gets to that skin so it eases up and releases. Alright, stop. Alright, so when you can take a wing feather and pull it out pretty easy. They're done. So Brylin is running the plucker. And what she does, she pulls it out, pulls any re remaining feathers real quick, and then they go to the ice bath. Alright, so we've got everything killed, scalded, and plucked, and it's chilling right now. We're getting ready to start breaking them down and processing. Um, I'll be doing the cutting, and my little helper. She will be doing the packaging and labeling. So she's getting the scale set up right now. Okay. Well, this thing's been giving us a fit. Um, so we'll try to get some video as the process goes along. So. 
let's get it going. Alright, so we got one of our chickens. Uh, they wanted it parted out into wings, thighs, drumsticks, and breasts. Everything with the skin on, and they only want the chicken livers. So normally I'd be taking the head off, getting the crop, the esophagus, throat, and then gutting it. So parts it out like this, I kind of save a little time and skip all that. So the first thing I do is tuck down. This quarter off. Right down through the joint. Double check just to make sure there's no feathers on it. chickens is they will kind of tell you where to cut the joints and then because they do want the liver Careful of that gallbladder. 
pop it, the green goo will go everywhere. And there's our chicken. All right, Brylin is going to show us packaging a few things, so go ahead, B. So these are the breasts on the chicken. So I take the, um, the bag and put, it, just put the breast in. Make sure it's nice and neat. All right, well that concludes the day. We did, uh, we ended up with 22 uh, Cornish Cross. Um, did them in various cuts. We did six of them in halves and the rest of them uh, broke down into pieces. But um, let me tell you something. This little girl and my middle girl, Caroline, it's, we're just so blessed. Um, the business is going great. We love coming out and um, rendering the service to y'all but it's been a huge blessing for me to bring my daughters with me um, and it gives me extra time to spend with them while working um, you know we don't we don't ever spend enough time with our kids um, so I, I really enjoy that and getting to teach them some things that I love to do and maybe one day they'll take over the business we'll see but um, it's been a it's been a great journey so far and we look forward to what the Lord has for us in the future. So you got anything to say, B? I know one thing he likes to do. Hunt with me and watch me kill a big buck. Yep, I like going deer hunting with her too, so all right. Well, thanks for following along and we're gonna get out of here and go get some lunch. Have a good one.